Moving Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to find the diameter of a circle or sphere when you're given the circumference. Whenever you have a circle like this piece of tape or this roll of tape, the circumference is the distance all the way around this tape. And the diameter is the distance from this point to this point or the distance straight across. Whenever you have a circle, it's very easy to get the diameter because you can just measure from here to here. But whenever you have an object like a sphere, like this golf ball, it's a little more challenging to measure straight across. So you can actually use the circumference. So let's look at this formula and see how we can use the circumference of circumference equals pi divided by diameter in order to find the diameter when you're given the circumference. Okay, So we want to isolate the diameter. So in order to do that, we need to get rid of pi. We can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by pi, because what you do to one side of the equation, you must perform to the other side. So whenever we have divide both sides by pi, this pi cancels, and we are left with diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. And in this example, I'm going to use 3.14 for pi. So the first thing we need to do, if I have this golf ball and I want to find the diameter or the distance across, I need to measure the circumference. And I can do that using a tape measure and measuring all the way around. And when I do that, I actually did this previously, I get a number of the circumference, and I'm going to represent it using C is equal to 14 centimeters. Okay. So now I need to find diameter. So diameter is equal to the circumference divided by pi. And remember, this is the formula we use. We figured out right here. And when we do the math, the diameter across the golf ball here is equal to 4.45. And that is centimeters. Okay. So there we go. It's a simple formula. If you have this circumference to find the diameter, just divide the circumference by pi. I hope that helps. And thanks for watching. And Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.